All right, Spencer, important question. Should you ride carbon wheels on a road bike? Definitely. All right, how about a gravel bike? Yeah, I'd say so. Should you ride carbon wheels on a cross country bike? Most of the time I would, yep. All right, big question. Should you ride carbon wheels on a trail or enduro bike? Well, Bruce, I think that depends. So long as you're willing to spend the money, carbon fiber wheels offer proven performance for almost any kind of bike riding. They offer aerodynamics, stiffness, lightweight, and those factors really matter when you're riding road, gravel, even cross-country mountain biking. But Bruce, what about real mountain biking? You know, mountain biking. I'm talking trail riding, enduro riding. This is the type of riding we love. This is the type of riding where downhills are really the top priority on any given day of riding. Yeah, so this is where things get, you know, a lot more subjective. You know, the things that really matter for, you know, this style of mountain biking, it's gonna be ride quality, it's gonna be durability. Yeah, and those things are a lot harder to quantify. That's very true. Mm -hmm. So today, we're out here on the trails, and we have three sets of wheels that fit into this trail enduro carbon wheel category. Zips 3.0 Moto, Rebels RW30, and finally, Envy's AM30. We've been riding, thrashing these wheels on the rockiest trails we could find for the last few months, trying to figure out this whole concept of ride quality, ride feel, that sort of thing. And today, Bruce, oh boy, we are gonna share with you our results of this extremely unscientific and subjective test. Completely subjective. So here we go. Mm -hmm. So first wheel we have is the Zip 3.0 Moto wheel. That's right, Bruce. Zip took a unique approach to this rim. They built a carbon rim with single wall construction. While the rest of the world pretty much has rims that have double wall, this one borrows sort of the overall design and technology from motocross rims, hence the name. The idea here is that the construction lets the rim more subtly flex and move as it goes through rocky trails. Zip calls this ankling. You know, that sounds pretty cool, but I don't know, it, it might be a little sketchy too. What, what did you think of it? Yeah, all the armchair engineers definitely like to talk about stiffness when it comes to carbon fiber rims, and yes, that's a factor, but I think Zip might be onto something with these rims. For me, the compliance is noticeable. I really like how it smooths out choppy rock gardens. Um, these rims, I, these are, I really dig these rims, I must say. Yeah, really comfortable. And one thing we talked about too was how sort of eager they are to turn in. Exactly, mm -hmm. yes. They yeah. do corner quite well. High marks on that point too. So, did you think there were any downsides to these rims? There's a few little ones. Uh, mostly when it comes to setup, I find they're a little difficult to get tubeless tires onto because the rim channel's not super deep. And furthermore, with a single wall construction, you got the spoke nipples kind of popping through and they're right beneath the rim strips. So you have to be careful to get that tire bead on a smooth, continuous patch of contact, the rim strip, so that it'll set up tubeless. And finally, they are the heaviest wheel in this test. Just a little bit shy of 2,000 grams, 1,965 grams if you're keeping the score at home. All right, so our next wheel, this is the Revel RW30 wheel. So, the Zip, it uses like kind of a unique construction, but the Revels, they do something else. They have unique material. Exactly, Bruce. Revel worked with the Utah Aerospace Company to introduce a new material to the bike industry, and it's called Fusion Fiber. Fusion Fiber, it's pretty cool actually, but whereas typical carbon fiber has resin that glues all the fabric together, there's no resin with Fusion Fiber. Instead, they use a high pressure process to get it all sort of stuck together. I don't know exactly how it yeah. works, but they add nylon to the carbon too to give it a bit of that compliance. And um, Rebel has some pretty pretty big claims for fusion fiber. They say it's faster, it's more automated, and it's more consistent to produce these rims. And furthermore, once you get them on your bike, Rebel says they offer more durability and more compliance. Mm -hmm. And there's one big thing, they're recyclable. That's right. You can break a rim, you send it back to Rebel, they'll recycle it, less waste. It's basically a carbon fiber superfood. Yeah, so what did you think when you were riding them? Uh, so the, it's funny, because I was coming right off of the 3.0 Moto, which are extremely compliant, and on my first ride, I was a little, bit, a little bit freaked out. I was like, whoa, these Rebels are kind of harsh. That's not fair, it's definitely a really different type of rim, and I got used to it, and honestly, I turned, I started to really like the Rebels. They're, they are so precise when it comes to steering and handling. You put them on a specific line, that's where they're gonna go. It's great for really technical trails. 
And I'd say to a certain extent, the fusion fiber does what they say it does in terms of deadening some of the impacts like a square edge rock. So I definitely, I really like the stiffness. I feel like it gives your bike a lot of extra zing. You know, it's really precise and playful feeling when you're trying to pump hard through a corner, or boost off a rock, or just jib on the trail. You know, I really like the way they feel. And then with the fusion fiber, I kind of felt that same thing. You know, some carbon fiber rims, when you hit a rock really hard, it sounds like a gunshot. But the Rebels, I hit them on a lot of rocks and it's always just this dull thunk. You know, it's pretty confidence inspiring, you know. And again, totally unscientific, subjective. They feel like the toughest rims in the test and I think I'd have trouble breaking them. That's, that says a lot. High praise, yeah. High praise yeah. for the Rebels. There is one minor downside. They're expensive. Yeah. Yeah, so the wheels that you have with the cheap industry 911 hubs, come on. Just kidding, they're really nice hubs. Those are $1,975. Yeah. And then the fancy pants ones I have, in industry 9 Hydra hubs, those are $2,200. Quite a pricey upgrade. But, I mean, worth it if you can afford it. Lifetime warranty, recyclable, there's a lot of upsides to the Revels. And finally, our third wheel, this is the Envy AM30. Yes, Envy. They might not be the original carbon fiber mountain bike rim company, but they certainly went a long way to making carbon rims a normal thing to find out on the trails. And it really shows in these wheels. The AM30s are super refined. They've got a lot of great features, offset spokes. They've got wide rim walls, which is kind of a clever way of mitigating any potential tire damage or rim damage by pretty solid four millimeter walls on, um, on where, where the tire meets the rim. Yeah, and the big thing too is that these wheels, they are $1,600. That makes them the least expensive wheels of the ones we tried, which is kind of weird to say, you know, a set of Envy's are the least expensive, but you know, they really wanted to bring this uh, mid-priced wheel to the market, and I think they knocked it out of the park. You know, the hubs are the Industry 9 one ones, the same ones on the less expensive Rebel wheels, you know, keeps the cost down, and I have no problem with them. I have more than enough engagement for all sorts of riding. The one thing that's different though is they only come in center lock, but the big highlight is the rim. So that wide rim bead Spencer mentioned, it really works. It's you know supposed to reduce pinch flats by about 50%. Um, I don't have numbers obviously, unscientific, but you know I felt pretty confident. I actually ran these without tire inserts. How dare you, Bruce? <laughs> Which I you know I felt confident. It was cool. You know I hit the rim a lot. Didn't really pinch flat ever uh, once, but that was, I, know, I was gonna pinch flat anything. Uh, yeah, also the rim is pretty shallow and that helps with vertical compliance and comfort. So it's not gonna be quite on the same level as the Zipmoto wheels, but you know, it's a well-tuned wheel, exactly what you expect from a big brand like Envy. And you know, I'd say compared to the Zipmoto and the Rebel RW30, it kind of straddles the middle in terms of stiffness and comfort. And while this sort of middle of the road quality isn't that exciting, these wheels actually ended up being the ones I rode the most over the last three months because of that. High praise. Yeah. So we have thrashed all three of these wheel sets. Who's the winner? Well, let's open the official envelope. The winner, it's you. It's the mountain biker at home, mountain bikers like us, because there's a lot of great options out there to get a carbon fiber wheel set that'll improve the ride of your trailer enduro bike when you just want something that'll make the downhills better, more fun, and just shred more. And what I think is really cool about all three of these wheels is that they're made in the USA and they have lifetime warranties. So if you break a rim, you can get it replaced. A lot of similarities. Mm -hmm. They all have, you know, sort of the perfect design for trail enduro riding. They've got 30 mil internal widths. Uh, Revel does 29 millimeter. And yeah. Who knows why, but. Yeah, but <laughs> all of them are wide enough for these wide tires that we're running nowadays. And they have great hubs. You and I, we both love Industry 9. That's true. Um, Zip did recently improve the engagement mechanism on 3.0 motos, so keep that in mind. Yeah, and you know, carbon, I feel like it's the hot and spicy sauce for your bike. It makes it just feel that much zingier, gives it nice flavor, you know, <laughs> just makes the ride nice. There you go, that's what you want. And also, it should be said that weight-wise, these wheels are all about 100 grams of each other, so that's not gonna be a major factor either in the decision. So, but how do you decide then? What is it gonna be? It's gonna be the Zip, Revel, Envy. I break it down this way. Yeah. 
Zips give you the smoothest ride. They really do make a difference on choppy trail, chunder. I like that. I think it makes a big difference at speed. Revel, really great wheel for that precision steering and stiffness. Fusion fiber does seem to do what they say it'll do, but it is a little pricey. Uh, you do, however, get the warm fuzzies knowing that if you break a rim, it'll get recycled by Revel. Finally, man, the Envy AM30 is the total workhorse. 1,600 bucks, great price for what you're getting. A lot of features, Envy's high quality, Envy's engineering. I mean, it's, it's definitely an excellent option if you can't quite go into the $2,000 range of the carbon fiber wheel. Yeah, and you know, carbon fiber is nice, but remember, aluminum trail and enduro wheels, they're still pretty good. They're pretty comparable in terms of weight, and they cost a lot less. We won't judge. Yeah. Aluminum is still a great option. Maybe someday you go with the carbon. Yeah. In the meantime, let us know in the comments what you think. Which of these three wheels would you choose to ride? Thanks for watching. Remember to subscribe to the Pros Closets YouTube channel, and we'll see you next time.